Hey family, much love to you all. I hope all is well with you family. I just wanted to check in on this beautiful Sunday day, okay? Um, I'm not going to make this video too long. I just, there's some things that I want to speak about. Um, I'm very observant, like many of you. I do a lot of sitting back, observing, and things that I will find very disturbing when I watch other people, shall I say, um, they are on the spiritual path as well, or you can see the conscious <clears throat> community, um, especially for those who are spiritual, okay? Because a lot of people that's in a conscious community, they haven't really, 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 you know, spiritually awakened. Um, they, they are starting to awaken, but they haven't really spiritually fully awakened, okay? That's what I'm trying to make as far as this right here, okay? But anyway... Um, but I like to, the videos that I'm led to watch, okay? Hold on, family. Alrighty, sorry about that. My little queen came in asking me a question, so I had to pause. But anyway, um, I only watch people that I'm led to by the spirit, okay? I don't watch everyone but there are a lot of awesome brothers and sisters okay who are very informative a lot of them are speaking their truth as well as their testimony and they're putting a lot of awareness out here as far as when it comes to this awakening the spiritual awakening okay and that's a good thing all right but <clears throat> i'm definitely mindful of who I watch. Okay, let me just say there. Um, I do not put no one down. I do not say this person, don't watch this person. You know, let me just say this. Many of you have the same thing that I have inside of me. Okay, and that is the spark of source. The divine is in all of us. Okay, I know I said many of you, but I'm just saying it collectively as far as those who watch me. Okay. But God is in all of us, let me just say that. And everyone has to get to that place of operating with discernment as far as who's, whom you're watching, okay? By what you're seeing, by what you're seeing and what you're hearing, okay? Um, even if someone says something that might not so much go over your head, but kind of, you know, um, make you feel some type of way or may alarm you. Something on the inside is kind of alarming, like, mm, you know, what's up with this? You know, um, it doesn't really mean that person is a bad person, but maybe it's time for you to stop watching that person. Maybe it's a spirit tugging you, okay, this, this is enough. It's time for you to move on, okay? You know, you can look at it from that perspective because the person that you're watching could possibly, you know, it is their spiritual journey. Let me just say that. And we all have ups and downs, ups and downs, okay? That's part of life. That's, that's how we grow, okay, due, due to change. <clears throat> but for many, as I say, everybody, background and challenges are different in this life for them. And there's nothing wrong with watching people who inspires you, you know. Um, you feel like they're full of knowledge and all of that. But no. Please know, you has it in you as well. And I know many people watch people like, you know, they see them as a guru, a teacher. However people see people, still we have to be mindful of knowing when to back off, okay? Not get to where you constantly have to watch a person, you know, uh, listen to the every, every word, okay? Um... Because you get to where you become cultish, okay? You get to where you feel like you have to have a leader or, or a follower, all right? Well, you will become a follower, let me just say that. And when it, and it, when it gets like that, you're not operating in knowledge of self. You're not really operating in as far as being a leader, okay? Um, there will always be people like that. There will always be people like that. And this is not to bash anyone, I'm pretty much speaking from the perspective of what I see, okay? As far as observing, 
okay? Things I see outside of myself, observing people as well as on social media. People are looking for a savior. Let me just say that. You know, when my grandmother, you know, came to this world and she came to the knowledge of Christ, you know, she was looking for a savior. Went to church and all of that. Her mother, okay, and my family lineage, you know, it, we all have been known to go to church and we all have been known of a savior. I'm not saying that someone won't ever come, but my understanding is he that is in me is greater than he that is in the world. He's inside of all of us if we seek him, okay? If we seek him. A lot of people are not, from my perspective, as far as me observing, a lot of people are not looking in the mirror. Because pretty much that that you are looking for, all right, is you, okay? You can help yourself, okay? If things about renewing of the mind, okay? And doing some shadow work, all right? Especially, especially if you want to change. Let me just say that. But a lot of people, instead of them putting the work in, they look for people to help them to fix them. And, I, and I'm not saying that's you, family. I'm just going by what I, I'm serving, all right? A lot of people are looking for people to help to fix them. Instead of just, you know, watching people that you're led to by the Spirit, take that which the person is saying, if you're willing to receive it, because you have to be willing to receive it, take that which that person is saying, okay? And if you if you really, you know, seeking, you are a seeker, and you want to apply that knowledge because it feels right to your spirit, apply it. But get to that place to where you're really putting the work in, and, you know, you get to that place of connecting with your higher self, because your higher self is going to take the will, Okay? To where it's going to let you know, okay, you can stop watching that person. That's enough. All right? You're ready. Meaning, the answers are inside of you. You don't have to watch, constantly be watching this person all the time just to get your answers. All right? Uh, you have the answers inside of you. Okay? I'm with you. I'm connected to you. All right? You go within yourself and get your own answers. But I understand a lot of people are not there yet. And let me say this real quick. There's nothing wrong with watching people. But it's a difference when you're watching a person, okay, that you're led to by the Spirit. And you can get to that place to where how some people, they watch for a season, meaning they get what they need out of the message. They apply it. It's working for them, okay, and then they're on to the next, all right? Because it's all about levels but some people they get obsessed with an individual and that's not healthy okay they may not see it as that uh, from that perspective but they get so caught up in the individual they still lose sight of self they see that person as a god thank you god god you know, <laughs> god is in you too okay how about you look in the mirror god is in you too okay Yes, that person may be talking some knowledge, but that that same knowledge is inside of you. Okay, find out what he that is inside of you has to say about you. Okay, because they can't really, they can't have the, they can't have the gift if it's part of their gift. They can't have the gift, you know, as far as intuitively know things about you. Okay, but see, we all everybody's different. They can't have that. But a lot of time, you know, they're just dropping knowledge, and you know. How about you get to that place of mastering yourself to where you uh, know what they're saying, you know, is legit instead of going by everything a person say. Because a lot of times people are talking, you know, I'm feeling what they're saying. And then a lot of times something inside of me is like, mm-mm. It's, it's, it's like I'm doing like this to, to a lot of things I'm hearing. And then when they say certain things, then I'm like, you know, and I'm like, well, why, why I'm, you know, I'm, I'm getting the nod for no. But I just go with the flow. But that's. My spirit letting me know, okay, that's inaccurate for whatever reason. And I'm listening to the person. It's, it's kind of like it's a lot of half truth, half truth. And then some people, I can watch them, and I'm constantly getting the okay, the okay, the okay. It's pretty much operating discernment. Even when it comes to me, operating discernment. Because a lot of time I'm speaking my truth, my testimony. It's been my walk, and nobody has been walking this walk but me, okay? And the Most High God has been with me. Let me just say that. I've never been alone. You know, we're never alone, 
you know, the most high God rod and his staff are with is are with us, okay? Our angels are with us. Our guides are with us, even though we, could, we cannot see them. But we're never alone, family. In the spirit realm, it's like a veil. And think about a mirror. You know, looking at your reflection, but on, on the other side of that mirror, okay, are your ancestors in the spirit realm? Your guides, you know, they are in the spirit realm. You get it? Your, your angels, they're always around. But imagine that veil, how somebody's looking at you, but you can't see them. Okay. They got you on the other side walking by your side, but you can't see them. This has been my revelation, okay, as far as coming to my awakening, as well as uh, my gifts of the Spirit, how I've been singing, I'm getting distracted again, how uh, I have been singing uh, in the spirit realm. You know, um, this veil is very interesting, <laughs> but spirits are all around us anyway, okay? A, a lot of times we're too distracted to even notice the slightest, you know, signs when they're around, but spirits around us anyway, okay? But glory be to the Most High God, you know, due to that veil, you know, uh, it protects a lot of people. Let me just say that. Um, but at the end of the day, the point I'm trying to make is I've been noticing when I'm on social media and I'm not going to say no names <clears throat> and I'm not really bad mouthing nobody either. I'm just letting you know from my perspective when I'm watching certain individuals, you know, people look up to them and then when they get to that place of, you know, being attacked, spiritually attacked, Okay. They will speak about it. Now, it's one thing to speak about it when it's temporal. But when it's constantly ongoing, ongoing, ongoing. I know, okay, that when something's constantly ongoing, ongoing, it's something that you need to do, okay, as far as doing some spiritual work on the inside, okay? So it won't continuously be ongoing, ongoing, ongoing. We've all been spiritually attacked. I've been spiritually attacked, okay? I've talked about it before. In my past videos, all right? The power that be knows those who are waking up. Please know that as well as when we are speaking up. But the point I'm trying to make is when we are spiritually attacked, a lot of times it's, it's for a season, but it doesn't last ongoing. And if it's constantly ongoing, we need to really evaluate ourselves. Okay, what are we doing? You know, our, our spiritual defenses are down for us to be constantly attacked because when you have spiritual awakening and you, and you consider yourself a conscious individual you should know what to do you should know how to put the spiritual work in as far as protecting yourself especially if you have holes in your aura field you should know what to do as far as making sure those holes are closed okay dispatching those angels you should know this stuff because people are looking up to you okay you have souls and people are looking up to you and, okay, they see you having a situation, but constantly ongoing, ongoing, ongoing. It's like, okay, what are you doing? Okay. Some people love to play the victim. Okay. They get some attention. And a lot of times when they are operating in the victim mode, because misery love company, let me just say that. A lot of times people are not trying to celebrate you. They're waiting for your demise. They're waiting for you to fall. Okay. It is what it is. And I wish people wouldn't be like that because the whole they're plotting for you is going to, they're going to fall in it because they're very little vibrational. But anyway, um, but when you consider yourself being awake, okay, awoke or conscious and you're being attacked, okay, you're being attacked for a reason. Yes, indeed. But it's really for a season. And if you knows what you know. You know, you, you, you're putting out information, you're trying to help people, but you really speaking your truth or testimony or however people get the information. I know that's how I've been rocking my channel, speaking my truth, my testimony, and I just share not everything, but I share certain things that I feel that can be beneficial to my brothers and sisters who are also on this spiritual path. People know we're going to have highs and lows, but people don't want to constantly hear the negative, the negative, the negative, because they feel like, okay, now you know what you know. I've been watching you. You've been inspiring me, but how come you can't get out of the situation? You know, what's going on here? You know, what's really going on here? You know, people get to questioning you, you know, and they, they, they be like, okay, what's going on with you? You know, because people can see people when they're operating in victim mode, all right? It's one thing when it's temporal, but when it's constantly ongoing, what's going on with you? A lot of times, people could get so... 
spiritual, spiritual, that, that they are no earthly good. Okay, and you can't have a little breakdown. Okay, especially if you're if you have been really like open, open. You know, a lot of people have become so open. Everybody are into different things. You don't know what people are really into behind the scenes. Okay, behind the scenes. Like if you see my if you see my behind the scenes. Okay, my little altar. All right. This is my happy space. And I think everybody should create a happy space in their home, okay? My room is open, spacious, not cluttered, and I have a special place. You know, I love my rock salts because they're good as far as promoting the positive energy and keeping my space clear. And, you know, I have my crystals. And family, I do not put stones, okay? The most like God created everything, all right? They are tools. That's all. But I, I don't worship stones. Anyway, uh, but this is my happy space, all right? The point I'm trying to make is you don't know what people are into behind the scenes. That's all I'm saying. Unless you're operating in discernment, you know that. I mean, if you know, I do readings on the side, okay? I use my gift for good. It has not stirred me wrong because I rely on my higher self, okay? I rely on my intuition. It helps me to navigate in this earthly realm as well as in the spirit realm, which is so very important. It can take you places, this is the background I use on my backup channel, Awakening Butterfly Readings, okay? Anyway, but for a lot of people to be ongoing spiritual attack, you really don't know what's going on behind the scenes. All you know is what a person tells you. That's all I'm saying. But being spiritual attack, that is a normal thing for people when they start to awaken. But even if you have a spiritual awakening, you can still be attacked. It can be, it can be a physical attack. But see, what you see is the physical you know, you see somebody and they have an issue with you for whatever reason. They're jealous of you for whatever reason. They don't like you for whatever reason. People want to start ish with you for whatever reason. All you know is that you're being attacked that way. Okay? Whether it be stalking or, you know, harass, whatever the case may be. But you see it as carnal, okay, from these eyes, okay? But what's going on in the spirit realm, it, 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 that's where the real action is happening, okay? But... If you don't have eyes to see, let that eye be single. If you don't have eyes to see what's going on inside of you, the chaos that's going on inside of you, okay, the battle that's going on inside of you, okay, uh, you just see it as an external, you know, type of uh, situation, shall I say. Oh, you know, I'm, I'm being spiritually attacked. People, you know, uh, attacking me. Okay, but the point I'm trying to make is, but you are operating discernment, okay? People are looking at you. You have this big following, okay? You being someone that's being influential, okay? Um, you being someone who has been inspiring people because, you know, you're dropping knowledge. And a lot of times, like I said, people, you know, it's not really, it could be you, but people just can see you by putting you on a pedestal, all right? When they really shouldn't do that because we all can evolve and get there. If everybody put the work in, a lot of people don't want to put the work in, okay? They rather watch those who are putting the work in, but they don't want to put the work in for whatever reason. But anyway, um, but when they're watching an individual and all of a sudden they see them falling or maybe having a mental breakdown for whatever reason, for whatever reason. Hold on, family. I'm sorry, I got distracted again by my little queen. She wants to go to the park. And you know what? I want to go. Little does she know. I love getting out in nature and planting my feet. They have this baseball field. OMG. It's nothing like the feeling of earth beneath your feet. I love it. Especially like a sun gaze too. Mm. But anyway, I didn't mean to get off the topic. But um, it's one thing to see somebody that you admire is, you know, on top of their game. Okay. But for whatever reason, when they start to slip a little bit and you start to see it. Okay, that's natural. We all have ups and downs, highs and lows, okay? But when a person's constantly, you know, speaking in, a, in instead of um, them inspiring and them dropping that knowledge, they, they, they're going from there to, you know, speaking from a place of a victim mode. You know, oh, I'm being attacked. I'm being spiritually attacked. I'm being followed. I'm being gangsta. I'm this. I'm that. There's life and death in the power of the tongue, okay? And even if you can be going through something, 
and people know you're going through something, it would be very wise, okay? Because I know this to be true, and this is how I operate. It would be very wise to stop the pole mouthing. Because there's energy, energy, energy to continue on the path, no matter what you're going through. See those things as though they're not, as or shall I say, see those things that you know what I'm trying to speak, you know what I'm trying to say as far as come to when it comes to faith, but speak those things as though they're not. You're going through something, but in the midst of your storm, okay, speak life, shall I say, okay, because there is light at the end of the tunnel. What you're going through. And for the most part, the people knows that. But be consistent. Okay? It's not about being fake. But be consistent because that's going to help you come out of that storm. Don't keep speaking on the problem. Okay? I had to learn this myself. Don't keep speaking on your issues, your problems, because they're going to manifest more. That's the point I'm trying to make. And if you got people watching you, and you're constantly talking about your problems, you're constantly talking about your issues, you're constantly talking about being attacked, blah, 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 you're going to receive more of that. Okay? It's like we look in the mirror, and it's like a, and whatever we speak over ourselves is kind of bouncing back. It's the same thing out here. But then you talk to this mass of people about what you're going through and all of this stuff. Okay, it's fine. You're going to bring awareness. You're going through something. That's fine. But leave it there. People already know you're going through something. But to keep going on and on and on, it ain't going to get no better. It can't get better until you change your your circumstances, all right? Mental. Go within yourself. Fight the battle. As within, so without. Out here is going to look a whole lot brighter. And a lot of those issues, a lot of this whatever is going to cease. Okay, that's all I'm saying. This is what I've been saying lately. Okay, on the tube. And it's very um, sad. It's very sad. Um, yes, be transparent. Be true to thyself. But I tell many of you, okay, I definitely had highs and lows. I spoke about my highs and lows, but I don't stay on the lows, okay? Because I know there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Let me just say that. And I'm going to speak life out of that so-called darkness, okay? You got to transmute the darkness. You don't, you don't just stay in the darkness and talk about the darkness. Let me say it one more time. You don't just stay in the darkness and, t and keep talking about the darkness. Oh, how thick it's going to be. Oh, how great is that darkness. You got to start speaking life. See your way out of it. Okay? That This too will inspire people. See yourself out of the situation, not constantly in the situation. Okay? This helps me. This helps me when I'm going through a storm. Okay? I don't see if you just be constantly talking about the issue. I see myself out of it, even when I'm going in the, even when I'm in the midst of it. Cause I know it's temporal. It's temporal. A lot of times we're being tested. A lot of times we're being tested. What are you gonna do in the midst of the test? Are you gonna fold, go in victim mode? Or are you gonna fight the good fight? And the ultimate fight is on the inside, not out here. There was a time where I used to be so worried about numbers, okay? <clears throat> because it was a time I was getting like a thousand views. I'm just, I'm just keeping it real with you. 500 views. It, it went from a thousand to 500. Well, a thousand more. Let me just say that. You know, you, you, my views go back, I think, what, seven years, seven and a half or seven years. And um, the Spirit let me know, uh-uh. Don't be clapping no numbers. It ain't about that. Those who watch you, it's meant for them. Okay, people are going to come and go, come and go. When you're doing this for the right reason, get off of numbers. It's not about numbers. My video is not for everybody, but it's for somebody. Do what you know is right. Keep being authentic. Be true to thyself. Somebody is going to receive what you have to say. And for those who don't, that's okay. They can't say they didn't hear the message. And maybe it wasn't for them. Maybe just happened to stumble upon it for whatever reason. But for those who have watched you, you speaking your truth. Because that's what I was supposed to do. Just keep speaking my truth. But I'm not going to speak on everything because everything is not for you to hear. It is for me. Okay, this is my path. This is my journey. Okay? But if 
there are some things I do speak about because I know somebody's going to have a listening ear. And if they are willing to hear, because you have to receive. If you don't receive, it's going to go in ear, one ear, not the other. But if you are willing to hear and receive it and apply it, it's going to really benefit you. Okay? Because I'm always in my heart space. Okay? I try to see the, the good in people because it is good in everybody. Let me just say that. Even people who... Do the unthinkable to people, they still have love for their loved ones, okay? So the love is there, but it's where they choose to put that love. Let me just say that. But the fact that I am led by the Spirit and I operate in discernment, it helps me to bypass the clowns, to bypass those that I'm for my highest good, okay? And when you're in this walk, let me just tell you, to be honest with you, it ain't meant for you to be having a posse, okay? As far as a lot of friends, mm-mm. And even if you have those people around you, they're going to teach you a lesson. Please know that, because everybody's not rooting for you. Everybody's not walking with you, okay? And in due season, you will find out why a lot of people are around you. You, you will find that out. But until you find that out, keep walking this walk one day at a time. But there are spiritual like-minded brothers and sisters that are out here, okay? That the Most High God will lead you to. That will encourage you, okay? That will give you support. But you must be led by the Spirit. Pray as the Most High God to lead you. Okay, to the right people. And you must get to that place of knowing when to back off. Ex exercise that the information you have received. When she, once you received it, start exercising, uh, exercising it, applying it to your life, all right? And you take off. You start making your own videos, okay? Because there have been people who watched me. Let me just say this. And I remember them. There'll be people who have watched me, made their own video, and they have more views than I do. Let me just say that. But kudos for them. And I told them, I said, make your own videos. I said, because you're ready. I said, you have a lot to say. You have your own testimony. Make your own videos. A lot of people are very private. They don't want families and friends to know what's going on with them. Okay? And it's stopping many of you. You know, you know your walk is different from your, your loved ones, your families, and your friends and associates and you really don't want to be exposed okay but a light cannot be hidden a light cannot be hidden now let me go back real quick there was a time I used to be caught up in numbers and I noticed my views were going down 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 and they really stopped going down let me tell you this real quick they really stopped going down because you know uh, I, I really didn't want to say this but I was led by the spirit to say this and I obeyed the spirit okay because I really wanted my message to get out the spirit was telling me Okay, let a lot of them know they are ready and they shouldn't be watching you as a crutch. Many of them need to move on. Okay, uh, don't be caught up in numbers. All right. Um, I don't want to be telling people things to where I'm keeping you coming back, keep you coming back. Cause all of my messages, all of my messages are not for many of you. Okay, they're only for a small select few who can relate. Okay, who understands what I'm talking about? Because they are two. Okay, we're, we're similar on the same spiritual path. Let me just say that. But I do consider many of you um, as my sisters and brothers in the spirit. Yes, I do. And I have love for many of you. Okay, you watch me for a reason. And I appreciate that. But your sister, I'm so unbothered by the numbers. My videos are going to be on YouTube for however long it's going to be on YouTube. And even when I stop doing videos, my videos will continue to be on YouTube. I have a lot of messages on YouTube. And I notice I'm, I'm starting to repeat myself a lot because when you speak your truth, you know, that's all you're doing is really repeating yourself, okay? I spoke about my experience, my humble beginnings, okay? And it wasn't so pretty, but glory be to the most high God, I had to go through what I went through for a reason, okay? And... I look back on it. I'm grateful because, you know, out of the challenge, okay, um, it has made me stronger. Um, out of the challenge, I have evolved and um, a lot of growth in my life. Material, I mean, not material, but uh, what's the wrong looking for? Um, just growth 
period, as far as my character, you know, the way I carry myself, as well as growth spiritually. And I'm grateful for that. And it also has given me a testimony. And that's all I've been doing on my channel, just speaking my truth, my testimony. Maybe you can relate to that, okay? Because you too, you know, have seen the things that I've been that I have seen. But anyway, once I put it out there, my <laughs> my um view counts start going down, down, down. I'm like, oh, they took my advice, you know. And the spirit say, don't worry about all of that. Let them go. They have their own path. Family, you have your own path. I love you. Yes, I do. But all of my videos are not for many of you, okay? But whomever is for, take heed. And it, and it is for you to receive it, apply it. Because please know, I get a lot of emails. People are telling me they appreciate me. And they have been applying the things that I have been saying. Because they're too on the spiritual path. And they too have seen the things I've seen, okay? And even when they were in the midst of the storm, when I was... Speaking about, you know, as far as me sharing my testimony, how I overcame, okay, those challenges and overcame as far as having dark night of the soul. They have applied a lot of the things that I was talking about and they have, and it, and it has helped them to overcome. So I know what I'm doing, okay? And it's okay. People like me who have low count views, it's okay, family, but please be mindful. There are others that have low count views, but they're speaking their truth and they are full of knowledge. Please don't get caught up in the numbers, okay? Even when maybe you can start your YouTube channel, keep doing what's right because it's not so much receiving validation from man. You want to receive validation from the Most High God. And when you are, believe me, you will be blessed like no other. You may not see it in your little numbers, but the Most High God is doing a marvelous thing in your life. Let me just say that. And you are producing more fruit, okay? And a lot of times that fruit is spiritual. It's not so much financial. A lot of times it's, he will give you a fruit that, that's, that's spiritual and he'll just blow your mind, okay? The Most High God will just blow your mind, okay? Because you've been a service, you know, you're not taking your gift and, um, you know, applying it just for you. You know, you're operating as far as doing good with it and you're helping others. And that's what it's all about, inspiring and helping each other, okay? Because we all are in this together, all right? And I'm going to say this one time. I'm going to say it again. I don't know everything, but I know what I know, okay? Now, I'm going to end this video, family. Uh, I want to share this with with you real quick i had a beautiful vision and i've had these visions before you have to watch my vault <laughs> that's what i call it the vault okay i call it the vault but um oh my god i had this beautiful vision um i was asleep last night and you know how like you can awaken you're not fully up but for me it's like I come out of my sleep state, but I'm still in it because I don't open my eyes or anything. And I start to open up on the inside, okay? And I'm seeing, you know, images playing out, okay, with my spiritual sight. And I saw people lined up, okay? I saw people lined up behind each other, okay?